Greetings guys and gals, I am Hound Dog Snakes and Await, and welcome back to Let's Play King's Quest 1, The Quest for the Crown. In the last episode, we got ourselves the Magic Mirror, the first of the three royal treasures we're going to need to collect. And, um, we also, let me think now, uh, we got some important things that we're going to need to get the Magic Shield, which I will get, uh, pretty soon. So, but first I want to explore Daventry a little. Let's see, oh, there's a area here with a hole in it. It's uh, interesting, uh, but we're not going to pay attention to that right now. Let's go to find our bird friend again, who was um, just about not too far away from here. And oh, my dog is barking. Excuse that, folks. Um, but anyway, we are going to go find ourselves our condor friend, and let's see, he should be. Two screens north and one screen to the left from here. And he can give us a ride to an area that we normally cannot reach unless we have his assistance. So let's get going. And yeah, you may I, I know you guys may have noticed the uh, the goat in the pen. Uh, he will be important to us when we try and get ourselves the magic chest. But uh, unfortunately, uh, well, yeah, not <laughs> we're not doing that at the moment. Now let's wander around a bit until we see our bird friend appear. And when he does, we are going to need to jump at the right time, and he will take us to another area of the um, of Daventry. Perhaps I, if I re-enter the screen, it would make it go a little faster. That's the thing I'm not 100% sure of with this game. I'm not 100% sure if um, entering and re-entering screens makes the randomly appearing creatures uh, show up faster or not. Because I saw him earlier, but sadly, he is not here now. But, uh... I'll just wait around a little bit. Um, let's see. I'll duck. I shall crouch. I'm like, no, no. I don't know. I, I'm not I'm doing that meme or whatever. Come on, friend. I need you. I need you, sir. I would very much value your appearance. Yes. But, uh, hmm. Well, I'll attempt this again. Um, what, basically, like, I remember the last time he was here, I said, ah, there he is. High up in the sky, you see a very large, friendly bird. So, the zero key is the jump button, so we're going to wait until he gets a little bit lower. He'll, he'll usually go around the corners and just see if we can jump when we're near him. Oh, he's too fast for me. Ugh, come here, friend. Hopefully he stays a little down. No, he's not. Ah, I almost had him that time. Uh... <laughs> oh, oh, wait, wait, okay, he, I think he's... There we go. Okay, phew. Yeah, that can be a bit tricky. Where could this giant bird be taking you? I'm not sure, sir. Forward, hopefully. Mm. Ah, just having a, a refreshing drink of water. Because that's never a bad thing. And here we are. And it looks like he's going to drop us right into that hole. But for, unfor uh, well, fortunately for us, he does not. Ouch. <laughs> All right. Now, as tempting as that hole may be, do not go in it right away. You're going to need to take a look around this area first. There's an important item that you're going to need inside that area. No, uh, notably, this mushroom. Or, here we go. Get. Oh, I put too many spaces. Get mushroom. You pick, uh, you pick down, uh, you reach down and pick a fat mushroom. Excellent. That mushroom has magical properties, and, uh... If you've ever read the story Alice in Wonderland, then you'll probably know what it does. I'm going to save. Quest for the crown. Do I say? And let's see. Go down here. I don't actually know what's down here. I don't, oh, no, nothing we're going to need at the moment. That uh, river is a bit too, uh, too strong a current for us to traverse safely, so let's go down here. Oh, no. Ouch. Yeah, and we can't get back up there, so if you come down here without the necessary equipment, you're screwed, and you need to restart your game. Which is one of the rather cruel things that some Sierra games could do. Uh, King's Quest 2 has some rather unfortunate things in it as well, and I may be playing that one as well. I actually played it today, and I uh, got 100% on it, so if I can do that, if I can do that, I'm sure I can do a Let's, uh, for, for a Let's Play. Anyhow, you'll notice a giant rat here. Uh, let's give cheese... Too rat. We can get close enough. This is a bit tricky to do. It appears you are afraid of the rat. You must get closer to give anything to this rat. Yes, it's difficult to actually get within range of him without dying. 
because yeah, be careful around this rat next time. He's dangerous. Yeah, he just kills you right there and then. We at Sierra wish to thank you for playing King's Quest. We are pleased to see that you are doing so well and hope that your score will keep improving. Yeah, I hope so too. Uh, but anyway, let's head back and we'll attempt to feed the rat once more. There's, um, like I mentioned before, there are multiple solutions to some puzzles. Uh, you can much more easily give the rat a treasure, uh, like uh, like the egg or, you know, the the walnut or something, but it is, um, it gets you more points if you give him the cheese, because that's what the cheese is for, after all. Um, the rat drools at the sight of the cheese and snatches it from your hand. You might want to count your fingers. The rat scrambles into the wall and seems to magically merge with it. Excellent. So now we can progress. Open door. <laughs> I love that sound. The door slowly opens. The leprechauns revere the power of the four-leaf clover. With it in your possession, they will leave you absolutely alone. I believe you will die here if you do not have the clover. Uh, anyway, let's go south and take a look. Yes, here we can see the leprechaun king and his servants. Um, thankfully, we do not want to go over here right now. Uh, what you actually need to do, and this confused me a bit when I played this the first time, is that uh, you must play the fiddle for these leprechauns, and you have to do it in this room. If you do it in front of the king, it won't work for some reason, so yeah. Leprechauns love fiddle music. Have you ever seen such frenzied dancing? <laughs> I have not, sir. Especially the fiddle itself, dancing up there. Totally involved in the music, they dance right out of the room. Excellent. So now they're all gone. After his followers have danced away, the king of the leprechauns realize, realizes he can lead best by following, and leaves for getting his beautiful scepter. And the magic shield as well, so let's get scepter. Eagerly, you pick up the scepter. And our other treasure, get shield. I don't understand shield because I spelled it wrong. This happened to me a million times, apparently I'm not good at spelling shield. You take the magic shield and carefully put it in your pocket. All right, we're getting somewhere. We already have two out of the three treasures. Uh, should I end the episode here? Um, let me think. <laughs> I'm not sure because the magic... Okay, I might get the the equipment we need for the magic chest. Uh, but, um... Yes. Oh, yeah, and I need to escape this area first. You'll see the exit here is much too small for us to get through because we can't crawl through it for whatever reason. This is what our mushroom is for. If you got this point to this point without the mushroom, then you're screwed. That's why you have to um, get the the fiddle, the cheese, and the mushroom if you want to try getting the shield. So, eat mushroom. A mushroom. <laughs> I'm not a good speller, apparently. Eat mushroom. As soon as you swallow the first bite, you have the strange shrinking feeling. It's true, you are now no bigger than a mouse. We're tiny now. <laughs> I kind of like the way he looks tiny, that's kind of cool. And we're free. You feel a stretching sensation. Oh, you're back to your original size. Good. Let's save once more. Now, where should we go? I know where we should go, actually. We should go to find our, um... To find that billy goat we saw earlier. But where would he be from here? I think he's north a little bit yeah and uh once i find the, the um the goat and do with him what he is meant to be used for i believe i'll end the episode there so let's continue on we're at a small lake here and i believe we should arrive at the location of the um the goat fairly soon and also, we're only um, 47 points away from winning the game, which is pretty sweet. A wolf can appear on that screen, so that's why I was kind of being a little quick there. Um, like I said, there's a couple hostile entities around Daventry. And, but now that we actually have the magic shield, I don't think they can actually harm us. The magic shield is actually quite useful in the fact that it does not actually... Um, uh, that it actually protects you from a lot of the hostile uh, creatures in Daventry. So let's open the gate. The gate is rather heavy, but you managed to open it. And just for good measure, let's close it behind us. Close the gate. You find the gate is much easier to close than it is to open. Good. All right, let's go find that goat we saw. There he is. Now, uh, so if you remember from a long time ago, we have in our possession a carrot. This is one of the tastiest looking carrots you've ever seen. 
Now, uh, you may think that uh, we should feed the carrot to the goat, but unfortunately that will uh, not do anything for us. In fact, it'll make it impossible for us to win the game. So what you have to do instead is show carrot to goat, and then he will start following us. Let's get close enough to him. When you tempt the old goat with the carrot, he starts to follow you. And now we have a goat friend. And he uh, will help us with a certain... Uh, a certain enemy that we can't get around normally, so let's open the gate once more. You cannot reach the gate from here, apparently. I have very short arms. The gate is rather heavy, but you managed to open it. All right. And let's close it again. Close gate. I don't think there's really any point to opening and close it. There's no need to close the gate now. Hmm. Okay, well then. Uh, so, yeah, like I said, I don't think there's really much of a purpose to uh, closing the gate, but, uh, you know, just for fun I will. Now, let's see, we're going to... Oh, boy, I don't want to fall off there. Um, the uh, area we're looking for is actually a bridge that is blocked by a troll, and the goat friend will help us uh, defeat that troll. That troll. That troll, duh. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, don't worry about him getting stuck. He'll just come back and follow you again. And we're going to cross this bridge here, this small stone bridge, and we will soon encounter uh, this troll that... Um, I did not show earlier, but nevertheless, you need the goat to pass him. Here we go. Come on, goat friend. Let's see. As you approach the bridge, a mean, ugly troll appears and refuses to let you cross his bridge. It is a well-known fact that goats hate trolls intensely. You should move aside and let the goat take care of this nasty troll. The goat butts the troll right off the bridge, never to be seen in these parts again. Good job, goat. All right. Now we can cross this bridge for probably one of the most infamous puzzles in the game. You see a crotchety old gnome pacing about uh, around his lean-to. Right, so we have an old gnome here. I'm going to save here. The gnome will not hurt you, don't worry about that, but he does give us a puzzle. So let's talk gnome. Oh, gnome. Get close enough to him. The old gnome tells you that he has something that may be very useful to you. Your task is to guess his name in three guesses, and his gift will be yours. Good luck. What is your first guess? Now, those familiar with fairy tales would probably say, Oh, I know his name. It's Rumpelstiltskin, right? That's what you think, but it's not. If you remember, we got a note earlier that said, Sometimes it is wise to think backwards. What you actually have to do here is spell Rumpelstiltskin on a reverse alphabet which means that A equals Z and B equals Y, etc. This, I have no idea how you were supposed to figure this out, and it's really complex. His name is actually If Nick of uh, Hug Ra uh, G Prum. That's right, you guessed it. Here are some magic beans for your outstanding accomplishment. I pity that chap whenever he had his name called for for school. Let's get these beans. Be careful that you get every one of them. You place the beans in your pocket. How horrible would it be to be him and have to, like, sign your insurance papers and spell that name out? It's like, oh man, that would be brutal. So, Mr. Ifnikov Grov Prum. The, I would like to renew my license. Yeah, sure. Uh, okay. Where... Hmm. Actually, there's one thing that I would like to go get. Uh, hmm. Uh, perhaps I can try... Actually, let me try crossing this area. Um, because uh, the beans we're actually going to need to get the magic chest. Uh, if you're familiar with um, Jack and the Beanstalk, you'll probably know what the beans are going to be used for. Uh, but we have to find a good place to plant them first. Let's see here. Ah, let's see here. Look. Uh, look. Pebbles. No, not opilegs. Pebbles. I don't understand plebbles. That's because that's nothing. Get pebbles? You have to find it before you can get it. Well, if you actually are on the other side of the river, you can get some pebbles here, I'm pretty sure. Uh, what if I take look rocks? Uh, unless this is a different area than I'm thinking. Hmm. Perhaps it's different than what I thought it was. Yeah, I believe it is. Oh, well. Nevertheless, we will continue on. Let's go down here. I may do a bit of stumbling around now because I'm looking for um, that soil patch where we can plant these beans. 
And then we can get ourselves a, um, a, a path to the Land of the Clouds, which will actually help us find the, um, the magic chest, but uh, without giving too much away, of course. Uh, but yeah, let's take a look around the kingdom. It'd be nice actually to do a little bit of exploring, because I haven't really done a whole lot of that. Uh, really just exploring, I've been kind of, you know, going about where I need to go. Here's the pebbles we need. Get pebbles. Quite a few of them there. You grab a handful of pebbles. There we go. One point. Worth a save, in my opinion. Okay, now, um, hmm. let's go over this way, but we may encounter an enemy here. There's a small dwarf close by. It would be a good idea to be careful. Yes, look how fast he is. The dwarf, if he co um, comes in contact with you, he will actually steal an item from your inventory. If you lose an item to the dwarf, you actually can never get that item back. So if he steals, like, one of your three treasures, you're screwed. This is another example of kind of a cruel thing that um, Sierra Games would do. Uh, let's see, is this the location we need to plant the beans? Can we look at the soil? I don't think this is it, but it's pretty close. I don't understand soil. Look ground. You see nothing special. All right, I'm going to save here. I, I This may be the area we need to plant the beans, but I don't remember for sure. That's not a bad idea, but this is not a very suitable place to plant these beans. Why don't you try it elsewhere? All right, so it is not here. My mistake. Uh, hmm. Let's see, where should we go to? Actually, looking at them, uh, I mean, there's no map that I'm looking at. I remember this all from memory. If I remember from my incredibly good memory, um, the, uh, the area that has the, uh, ooh, we're at the beginning. The area that has the, um, the soil that we actually need to plant in is quite far away from where we just were. Thankfully, we're getting pretty close, though. So, let's cross the bridge once more. I really like this area, Castle Daventry. It's quite uh, nostalgic. Let's save again, just in case, you know, those crocodiles around. You can never be too sure. Uh, okay, um, hmm. let's go north of here. Actually, I think it's quite close where the, um, the soil is. I think, is it over here? No, this is not it. Um, hmm, okay. Let's go south a bit. Okay, this is the part. I may speed this part up, up if I take too long, because, yeah, the area that we're looking for is actually on, like, a... almost on the opposite side of the kingdom from where we were, so... My apologies if it takes a while for us to arrive there. And let's see. Oh, there's the bridge again. I am, uh, hmm... Okay, well, actually, no, we're, re we're actually really close, now that I look at it. Uh, then now that I remember, uh, we're actually quite close to the um, to the, the soil that we need to plant this in. So we're just going to go back over the bridge that we crossed earlier. And we should be right about there, I think. Hopefully I'm right. Yeah, it's another thing is when you walk in this game, you um, <laughs> you don't stop walking when you cross screens. So especially in King's Quest 2, you'll see that there's that can really be an issue. Here we go. This is where we need to plant our beans. Hopefully that didn't take too long to get here. So let's save. And plant beans. The beans immediately sprout roots that reach deep into the fertile soil. Le uh, leaves unfold themselves in to the warm, loving sun, and rumbling is felt. And a mighty beanstalk now stretches up into the sky. There it is. And what you're about to see is the most annoying part of the game. But we'll see that next time on Let's Play King's Quest 1, The Quest for the Crown. So we'll see you guys next time.